Hey folks, it's John P with GeekBee TV. I am going to show you today a new product called the UpDesk. It's very cool. It is a motorized desk that can be used either for sitting or for standing because, uh, you know, it's healthier to stand while you work occasionally. So this is it. We just finished building it. You can see it's a fairly simple structure and I'd like you to take a look at how, it's a, how it attaches. Down here there's really just three screws on this side and three screws on the other. Same thing on the other end. Okay, we've got a motor controller here. This is kind of the brains, I guess. And it uses four screws there. And other than that, really, I mean, you just plug in the cables because there's a motor on each side. And uh, they give you these little plastic, they give you these little things to uh, kind of tie the... Um, the cables on but we went overboard and we put gaffer tape everywhere because we didn't want any hanging down so these are ready to go let's flip it over mr herwig my trusty assistant here let's uh, it's it is a heavy solid desk and the reason why is because it's rated to hold up to 300 pounds but you know what dave i suspect that we can get more than 300 pounds on this thing so we'll test that in a minute Okay, so what you're looking at here is the motor controller. This is just all the height and stuff. So you'll see there's an up and down, and all we have to do, let's push the up button, see what happens. Nice. It's pretty quick, actually. I wonder if it'll go as fast when we load it up. Up and down. And then you'll also notice there were like three different um, setting buttons here, one, two, and three. And actually, uh, I think these, as I understand it, they're programmable, so you can program them to, to particular points. Now, it doesn't, it's not a one-touch button. You don't hit one and it goes to that height. But what happens is you can set it to, let's say the first height was at 30 inches. You set it to 30 inches, and if you're higher than that, you just hit the one button and then you start going down. And when it hits 30 inches, it stops. That way you're still manually in control of it. Because, you know, you might put something up there and, I don't know, you probably shouldn't be walking away while things are in motion. So those are preset heights, but you still manually, you know, control the up and down function. Um, so that's about it. Now, it is curved um, uh, in the front, which is nice, I think, so that uh, ergonomically speaking, when you've got stuff up here, you're, 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 everything is kind of comfortable. I'm going to put it up to its top height, and just for reference, you guys, um, that's, okay, it says it's 40 and a half inches right now, so I'm six foot one, and you can see that this is like my elbow height here, um, so even if you're really tall, uh, this is going to work for you. You could stand and work at this desk all day. So really, I think Dave, Mr. Herwig, the only question is, you know, they claim that this thing will hold 300 pounds, it's good looking, it feels solid. I think we should test it out. <laughs> Where's Callie? <laughs> Callie, hey Callie, you want to come test the table with us? Let's do this. Here's what we'll do. We'll put it all the way to the bottom setting. They say it'll take 300 pounds. Okay, wow, that goes really much, wow. Like that's, like, that's like almost knee height. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's really low, 24 and a half inches. Hey Callie, you want to come test the uh, table with me? No, we'll estimate your well, weight. I'll make it a As lower. In like 90 pounds? Can we estimate I'll your make it weight? A lower third. Here, here we go. So I weigh 175. I weigh nothing. So even if, if you weigh 125, <laughs> she's 5'8, you weigh 125. So we're about 300 pounds, which is what this table's rated at. Should have no problem picking us up. Let's see. Let's see. Here we go. We're going to go up. You ready? I'm ready. It's real easy to get a rise out of her. Ah, funny. Okay, you can hear the motor. It doesn't it's sound the same. Though. It doesn't sound quite the same as it did when it had nothing on it. But it didn't have any problem. We're, wow, that's all the way up. It was really smooth, right. smooth action. Okay, okay, let's go back down. Now, what I want to know is, they rate this thing at 300 or 320 or something like that. The question is. How conservative are they? Come on, Herwig, hop on here. Let's see. Oh my God. The up, de the up desk guys are gonna kill us if we break their desk. Okay, y'all ready? Ready. 
This is so. This is you weigh. What do you weigh? At least one fifty. Let's say you weigh at least one fifty, right? At least one fifty. So we're right now. This is more than four hundred fifty pounds on the table. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see if it'll go. Yeah, it's the motor, if you, you guys can't really hear it, the motor sounds like it's working a little harder, but it's working. It's definitely not a problem. Wait, I'm afraid of heights. Right. Yeah. <laughs> after jumping out of airplanes 3,000 times. Oh, wait. Oh, you put that on something? No, I'm going. going back. No, I'm putting it down. All right. Okay. Everybody hop off. All right. So, I guess there's not a lot more to say except that... Uh, you know, it works well. It's it's functional. I think it's good looking. I don't know about you guys. I, I find the shape to be pleasing. Um, it's certainly strong. It's stronger than they advertise it to be. And uh, that just brings us down to price. So this is the six foot, uh, I'm sorry, this is, yeah, this is the six foot version of the table. Um, this one with the motor and everything goes for $9.99. Now you can also get it without the electric motor. You can get it with a hand crank, which they put a crank somewhere over here and you just crank it down. That'll save you a few hundred bucks. The least expensive variant that I saw on their website at updesk.com was $649. So uh, I am not aware of any desks that you can buy for less money than that. That are that will go, you know, from se seated to standing positions. So overall, I'm going to give it a huge geek beat thumbs up, and you guys should go check it out. Stay tuned for more uh, reviews and news on geekbeat.tv, and head over to YouTube.com/geekbeat.tv. Give us a thumbs up. All right, guys, take care. We'll see you later.